Okay, we are standing in Hashtag Gallery. Um, this is a new art gallery in Dundas and Bathurst in the heart of Toronto. Through some conversations with Graham, who I, who I randomly met that summer uh, playing kickball, and he was doing the same thing. He was, a, he was working at a restaurant, and it just, we were just saying, man, what are we doing? Like, we study these things and we love these things, and it's like, why don't we just, at least if we're gonna make minimum wage, let's do it for ourselves and doing something that we genuinely love, right? So, so we said, let's make an art gallery, and, uh, and we did. I am more of an event guy. They, they kind of have me in charge of the events here, so um, I'm networking with a lot of uh, artists, um, potential people who want to use the space, uh, whether it's for an art show, whether it's for a, a reception of some sort, or just for you know some crazy idea that they have an installation piece, things like that. I think the my studying performance and things like that has really helped me out here. Whether it's just in um, speaking with people and sort of entered this song and dance that goes with uh, courting. Uh, you know, whether it be artists or other people that are that just want to use the space. Um, and there's certainly a, a maturity I think that comes with the education. I have three. I had three stages of evolution in my life, and one of them was high school, where you you become self-aware and are suddenly this this scared. I'm like I'm self-conscious. I gotta have good hair and. I want to wear nice pants and I want to be liked and this, this thing, you know, the first time you realize that has to happen. Then in university where I realized I could kind of put that behind me a bit and there was, there was actually so much more out there. Um, in terms of the way people think, it's not all about that. It's not the, you know, the politics of a high school cafeteria as much as it is when you get up to school and you're suddenly surrounded by other people who have, who have chosen to, to, spend, to dedicate their lives and, and their time and their hard-earned money you know, to, to these educations and, and these programs where it's like, they, a lot of people are not in the program because they're, you know, I want to get a good job. It's like, I'm in this program because I love this thing so much. And that, uh, I think, caused me to grow up a lot. And then of course the Edmonton trip was the other one where it was a realization that I, I had all of the pieces I needed to, to do what I wanted. Uh, I would definitely have done a lot of things different. Well, not a lot of things, but some uh, a lot of the academic portion of school. I think I kind of um, sleepwalked through a lot of my courses. And if I could go back, I would really have spent a lot more time in the books and uh, and reading uh, reading everything if I if I could. I also feel like I didn't quite take advantage of the uh, personalities that I that were around me. These these people, I, I they were my professors, and, and we you know we had our interactions, our relationships, and they said, but I don't think I took advantage of just how much these people know and and how far you know these these people ge genuinely made um, the arts and theater specifically their life, um, and I don't think I maybe gave them the respect that they deserve for that, and like I didn't learn enough from them. That I could have, and it's not that they didn't offer, because they did, and I was just my head was in the clouds, and I was going to be an actor, and I was uh, popular. <laughs>